So uh, we just wanted, we had a couple spots that were just wet with, wetness wise, anytime it rained kind of pulled up. So we were actually checking for any uh, sunroof drain vents. We knew we had one. But in the process, we ended up finding some cancer. Guys, welcome to Running Joe Off Road. We're here in for a good time. Small update on the orange sleeker. This is probably tied in, I'm guessing, video-wise with the uh, with the LMC swap meet. Uh, we just dealing with a couple small issues on the leak as we expected uh, a little bit of cancer when we pulled the carpet up we uh, decided to pull the carpet up so uh, we just wanted we had a couple spots that were just wet with wetness wise anytime it rained kind of pulled up so we were actually checking for any uh, sunroof drain vents we knew we had one but in the process we ended up finding some cancer and uh, you guys can kind of see so I buffed the area up we're, we have ways of fixing it. I'll, I've got a Rebel 285. So we're, this is where the body plug would sit, guys. And uh, when I found it, it really wasn't in. So this one, we're gonna need a larger chunk of steel. And I have to get a bit of a measurement, but we're gonna have to cut probably from about here, is my guess. Uh, cut up at an angle, come back at an angle. And then I'm going to weld kind of right onto here. I'll make a bit of a lip and cut around here and weld right to it. And then from the back side, I will weld a small panel on the back side of the seat belt. Um, as you can kind of see, we got some deflection here. It is skinned. So there is two sides to this. Like this one up here, everything's really good. One small patch up here we're going to make. Um, to make this really more of a safe car, I really want to make sure whoever gets it gets a car that's in decent shape. So, or if I'm going to drive it over the winter, we'll figure that out. But so we're going to get some steel here over the next day or two. And we're going to weld this panel up here and weld a small patch up there. And then we've got up in the passenger side. That was, we found, we found that pretty quick. Uh, so we're going to have to deal with that as well. But overall, we don't have a ton of rust. Uh, we'll seal the floor with like a pour 15 something that is gonna kind of chip the area up and then we'll put the carpet right back over top so anyways i just wanted to be open and honest what we're finding with the Celica, and this is what we found today so we're gonna deal with that everything else like the back's pretty good tyler can do a bit of a sweep um the back's pretty good we're gonna clean it up reality is this car should be fairly clean by the time it's done um, I'm glad we haven't gotten rid of the red car because we still do need some pieces out of the red car But anyways, so I hope you guys all enjoy the small update on the Celica. We're gonna fix this up some people would think we're crazy, but If I'm gonna drive it, I'd rather it not be leaking water all over the place and whoever gets it It's only gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars at most just even including my own time. So you guys take it easy Hey right, guys, welcome back running Joe off-road Today we're, we're gonna be working on the orange car a little bit. As you guys can kind of tell, we uh, have some issues to repair. Um, I got some holes in the floor. Um, this kind of came up when we were doing a bit of cleanup. Uh, I did film a little bit of it and I'll probably throw it in with a bit of an update, but it might not even make the cut. By the way, today we're kind of gonna sketch out what we're gonna cut out. And it's, it's kind of going to be a rough draft like this. And uh, we're hoping that this section of floor on the red car is okay. If not, I did buy some sheet metal to uh, replace this stuff with. Just some 16 gauge. I'll do a little bit of an overlap. Weld the two together. Paint it. Likely it'll be good. So that's it guys. Um, where the seat bolts up is great. Chris, do you mind passing me a hammer? It's on the, behind the stool there, third door down, third drawer down on the left. The idea is, guys, we're gonna cut out most of this garbage metal um, and replace it with either sheet metal or uh, out of the red car. 
Um, I don't know if I'll go quite this wide. I got to do a little bit of investigative work, uh, a little bit more cleanup required, and then yeah, we should be getting going. I got a couple small, uh, small other patches to make at the same time. I've got one in the top right corner, and then one up in the top left corner here, uh, just where water has kind of developed uh, over the years. So that said, I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of the speed up process where we're doing a bit of the cleaning and kind of getting this prepped for some grinding, cutting, and welding. So, okay. and then you can hit it again and I'm just going to start. So guys, welcome back. Uh, that might be edited out, but anyways, so I've uh, I've gone and cut the slits here to uh, kind of go around that, uh, and then I've bent bent the panel a little bit more here. Um, so what we're gonna kind of do here also is we're gonna try and get this this portion right here that you see hasn't been bent yet uh, up in behind here just for a little bit more uh, structural bracing kind of stuff. Um, 
So right now I'm just uh, just in the process of uh, getting my uh, getting my bends correct here. Um, by the looks of the one bend here, I might have uh, overjudged a little bit, but uh, that's easy enough for us to form and get it back into a uh, workable shape. So, but. Uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated and uh, we'll go from there. Well guys, I'm just getting set up here to uh, do some welding. Lens off. Um, I am not a professional welder by any means, but so what we've got here, guys, is a couple rosette holes welded. And that's going to let me tack it into place and really start forming it in. So we're gonna get set up here to do some welding. I'm gonna tack rosette fill, and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Perfect? Yeah, are we recording? Yes. Okay. Welcome back guys. So this video is gonna be like over three, four days. Culmination of starting to weld, fixing the floor, showing off the floor that's fucked. Anyways, we've got the floor all patched up. Uh, I used some rust buster on it. And uh, we did a timing belt on it. And we're going to do the water pump. But the water pump that Rock Auto sent me was totally not correct. So whatever. I'll live with it. Um, we changed the front uh, shocks. And I was going to show you. So this is the front shock or what was left of it. It was totally mangled, guys. Ended up changing both front shocks, uh, put some KYB Excels in. We felt that the rears were still somewhat functional and we were happy with it. So we're moving along, making good progress. The carpet, front carpet's going back in with uh, pressure washed and then a little bit of a Bissell steam clean. So. I figured I'd give you a quick update because I'm going to have to do a bit of editing here for this video and then we'll go from there. So hopefully the next video is us actually out for a true road test. Uh, we got things in place for next week to likely put some plates and insurance on it for at least 30 days so we can do a bit of driving with it, make sure everything's happy, get it down to a couple of local meets and maybe put a for sale sign on it. We'll see. See how much I like it. We got a little bit of work to do on the stereo. These 1990 System 10s are really good stereos, but Toyota, nobody really came out with an aftermarket harness for them. So we're gonna have to do it the way we don't like doing it. But if we want it to work, but anyways, we'll get to that in another video or in, in the next, later on in the video. Well, it's still working on the leak. A couple of small things left to do. Figured I'd work on the stereo because nobody's been able to get it working. I'm going to have to do it the old school way because the harnesses that they sell for this car don't work. So you kind of just got to wire it. Um, I am going to leave a little bit of extra and leave the connector with the car. So if somebody wants to go back to the other way, whoever buys it, go all right ahead. But anyways, this is not about that. This is about me dismantling. I bought a Android deck, a cheap Android deck for 50 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace and it came with the connector for that vehicle's harness. I don't really care. I'll list it for five, 10 bucks. Somebody might buy it, whatever. Needless to say, I found a surprise. Kids, if you are doing your own stereo work and you can see I'm pulling tape off, but there is not a butt connect. Now to drop a solder. So let's pull one off. Let be known, that is not how you install a stereo. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Somebody installed one of the lights upside down. It's kind of a cool pattern. Yeah, the alignment's per almost perfect, though. It's kind of funny, because you see it better through my camera. Oh, yeah. Think like, isn't that fucked? Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you that the Exile Reloaded giveaway for the shooting range ends this Friday around 6 o'clock. 
If you guys like this video, give, please subscribe, give me a like, and most of all, if you can, watch one of these two videos. We'll be back soon with more content, hopefully a little more religiously again.